It is a protein that plays a key role in sexual differentiation during the fetal stage. Independently of its role in fetal development, in the context of assisted reproduction, it provides information about a woman's ovarian reserve. Antimullerian hormone is produced by the granulosa cells of the small antral and preantral follicles of the ovary from 36 weeks of fetal development until the menopause starts. These levels decrease progressively until the age of about 35, after which they decrease much faster and become almost undetectable with the onset of menopause. The ovarian reserve of a woman refers to both the quantity and quality of the oocytes she has in her ovaries. For this reason, it provides us with information about a woman's reproductive future and possibilities of reproduction. At the analytical level, it is important to note that the results may vary from one laboratory to another. Basically, there are two techniques most used at present. ELISA enzyme immunoassay, which is a manual technique, therefore more susceptible to errors, and automated immunoassays. At Instituto Bernabeu, we use the Roche automated immunoassay. Despite the fact that there is no clear consensus on this, and there is a clear influence of age, in general, levels above 1 nanogram per milliliter, 7.14 pmol per liter, are considered normal. Low levels of antimullerian hormone can be expected in women who have delayed their motherhood, but in women under 35, it can be an unexpected situation. We know it is a stressful situation for couples, and the woman may wonder if she can be a mother with her own oocytes or she will have to turn to egg donation. In one of the latest published articles, the results obtained in assisted reproductive techniques are discussed after evaluating 9,400 women, classifying them into different groups. One of these groups are women under 35 years old and the antimullerian hormone was low. This study provides information on which could be the assisted reproduction treatments when there is a discrepancy between the antimullerian hormone values and the age of the woman. The study concludes that in women with low antimullerian hormone values, the results in assisted reproduction treatments are optimal after three transfers of good quality embryos. Therefore, the fact that a woman presents low levels of antimullerian hormone can be translated to obtaining a low number of oocytes after an ovarian stimulation and egg collection, but it does not mean in any case that she cannot achieve an ongoing gestation. In view of this situation, it is important to individualize and optimize the ovarian stimulation process so that we can obtain the best possible performance from a woman's ovaries. With this objective in mind, Instituto Bernabeu created the Low Response Unit. Design protocols aim to obtain maximum number of oocytes that guarantee an optimal number of good quality embryos in order to increase the probability of success.